Hello YouTube, this is Miss Natural Touch. I wanted to bring to you a quick hair tutorial. Before I begin actually styling my hair, I wanted to show you the products that I use because yesterday was a shampoo day for me. Now I can usually tell when I need to shampoo my hair because my hair typically feels heavy. So that's what I go by um, for shampooing my hair. The shampoo that I use is the Shea Moisture Organic Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo for thick and curly hair. You can get this at your local Target. It is $10 for a 12 ounce. My husband and I purchased this like in November of last year and we still have this much left. So it's pretty cost effective. The conditioner that I use is the infamous Tresemme Naturals. You can get this anywhere. Okay. So that's the conditioner I use. And the leave-in conditioner I use is the Direct Leave-In Weightless Moisture Conditioner by Giovanni. You can get this at some targets, but I purchased mine from Ulta. The reason why I did that is because usually at Ulta you can get a coupon for $3.50 off your $10 purchase. So, FYI for those who have an Ulta. Now, how I use this, since it's um, a really good product and a little goes a long way with this product, I just put a little in my hand and went through my hair like this. After I did this, I put a little bit of this aloe vera gel on it that I got from Trader Joe's last year. It was $2.99. I put a little bit on there to um, slick my hair down, but not to give it a firm hold so it could be manageable today. Now, my hair is in a puff, as you can see. This is my version of the pineapple. I just put it to the top of my head, tie a scarf on, and go to sleep. Now, I'm the kind of person that I like to try new hairstyles and create new hairstyles. So, hopefully... I will create a hairstyle that's cute as I think it is, um, <laughs> I envision it to be, I should say, and I hope you guys like it as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to part my hair, and then I'm going to go from there. Be right back. Now as you can see, I parted this section off right here, and I secured it with a duckbill clip. Now this section will probably be my bang, I haven't figured out what type of bang I'm going to do, but I secured it like I said with this duckbill clip. Now, usually when I style my hair, I use pretty much the same thing because I figured out what styling aids work for me. Another thing is I love twists, love two-strand twists, and I love to figure out new ways to do things with them. So, before I actually start twisting this, because I'm going to do two-strand twists in the front, I'm going to show you the styling aids that I'm going to use. Usually when you use twists, you should always use a heavy moisturizer so that they can sit in place also so that they can have a shine to them. I already put my leave-in in, which I told you was the Giovanni's, but the styling aid I'm going to use is the Cocoa Butter Delight by Zephora Beauty. Hope you can see that. And I'm the type of person that likes to layer products. So I'm going to combine this with the Moroccan Argan Oil Gel by Eco Styler. Right now, this is on sale at Sally's for $2.99. So you might want to call your local Sally's though before you actually get it because they're having a hard time keeping them on the shelf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here. And I'm going to do a bunch of two-strand twists. And then I'll come back when I'm finished. Now, when I combine products to do my twists, I put a little dab of one product and I put a little dab of the other. Let me just show you that before I'm do my twist. I forgot to show you that. I hope you can see that. Just a little bit of each. And section. Rub this in my hand. And I just go like this. Just like so. From root to the tip. Okay, when I get to my tips, I just go like this to make a nice curl at the bottom. Be right back. Now, this is the finished product of my twist. I'm going to come a little closer so you can see them. Now, I did them to this side because this is where I want my bang to lay. Um, some people might want to keep their twists just like this, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist them out. So, I'm going to let them set for a little bit so that they can create their definition and in the back what I'm going to do is I'm going to moisturize the back. What I'm using to moisturize the back is the Shea Moisture Conditioning Curling Style Milk. 
This is also for thick and curly hair. I'm gonna run some of this on my hair. I think what I'll do is some kind of, some kind of, I don't know if I'm going to pin it up or just put it up. I know one of my favorite styling tools is the banana clip. So I might utilize that today. Okay. So that's just what I'm going to do for that for now. And I'm going to take these twists down, style the back, show you the finished product, and tell you what I did. Be right back. Here are my end results. So I took my twist out, as you can see, in a beautiful, beautiful definition. Like I said, I combined the Zipporah Beauty, Zipporah Beauty Cocoa Delight with the Argon Gel. And so I got beautiful definition with that. And so this is what I did in the back. I just used a banana clip and I slicked my hair and I put it up like that. Now I don't know what you would call this hairstyle, but it's definitely another way that you can utilize a banana clip. Like I said, I took out these twists and I just slipped it in the back. The moisturizer that I use in the back of the hair is the Curling Style Milk, which I showed you before. I distribute it through with my hands and also through with my comb. It's a shower comb. I love this. $1.50 from Sally's. Works wonderfully. So. I used my hand and I used that comb, got it through the back, and so this is my end results. I hope you like it, and I hope this is a, another idea for how to do your hair. And this is Miss Natural Touch. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll be talking to you guys later.